Greetings, YouTubers. Welcome to the channel. My 2010 F-150. We're still kind of fixing some small things, and every time I fix something, I yank out the camera, and I'm thinking, well, maybe somebody can use this info. Well, uh, sometimes you get in here and you smell. It's all musty, and you kind of figure out why. Well, on this one here, check this out. All around the back, all the way over there. Now, uh, there's a light out there. But, since all the stains was like right here on the corner, and on that side, very little in the middle, I initially thought maybe, well, maybe this rivet right here was leaking, but I don't, that makes me a little nervous here. I'm not sure. I mean, there's one on this side, there's one on that side over there. So what we're going to do for now, there's the third light right there. And we're going to pop it off. It just got done raining earlier. And we're going to see if there's any water behind it. Now I hear this is a common place for these to leak. We'll see if we can uh, take this off. And see if that's maybe the problem. And as you can see. Uh, with these channels up where water gets in here. And if you're setting a level. Parked level. When you go to take off. Or if you're at an angle all night. I'm sure there's a lot of water that just comes in here and goes in behind here. So we're going to take these little screws off here. I say, well, this is actually going to be, uh, looks like a screwdriver or a little socket. Let me see what I got right here. All right, so this is a little 7 millimeter socket. You could probably just use a Phillips screw on it. Now, they got a rubber seal around this light where the screw is right here. But... I don't see anything else on the top. Matter of fact, look right there. There's something that's kind of sticking out. What that is. That might be a seal, part of a seal, I don't know. Or dirt. Anyway. Alright, let's get this one out. I'm just a little suspicious. Because you see a hole right there in that rivet. But... Maybe they put something under there to keep it from leaking, I don't know. But that channel there, boy, it would catch a lot of water. But we'll look at this first since this is a pretty common area. I know you can buy another light with a seal, but I don't want to buy a whole light. Nothing wrong with this one. Just buy a seal. Yeah, okay, well, let's see. Can't see anything, but seal looks you know okay but uh yeah 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 i don't know i think what we're going to do is go ahead and put a little bit of sealant on here on the outside see if that takes care of it there is some water coming down but it's, it's actually running out well actually if i look here on the inside it looks like it's a little wet there, so this may be where it's leaking at for now. So we'll clean this up. And what I'll do is uh, put some water on this here and let it drain down in here. And we'll go inside and see if it's leaking. But for now, um, we just may put some glue on this and maybe see if we can just order a seal. But, uh, well... I mean, there is a lot of water right here. I don't know if you can see that. On the center of the seal. So this may be my issue right here. But we'll go ahead and seal this up first. Then we'll test it with some water. And we'll check this side and see what happens. So what we're going to do is take the seal off. And I've got some clear sealant. We're just going to put the sealant on each side of the gasket. And I'll show you that in a second. But I went online and it turns out you can get a gasket for these. You don't have to buy the whole assembly. And for only $7, but for me, it'd probably take about a week to get this. But in the meantime, we're just going to kind of go ahead and uh, glue up what we got to keep the water out. And then we'll deal with it. But there's, look at the new seal. It looks like it's uh, a much heavier one. And we shouldn't have any more issues, hopefully, with that. And like I said, it's fairly cheap. Uh, it's only $6 and something. So, I mean, these are things that you have to deal with sometimes. But uh, at least we can get a new seal. I'll go ahead and order this and... Deal with it a little bit later should be fairly straightforward to put on but in the meantime and this is what we're going to be used just some clear adhesive sealant rtv um, this should uh stick fairly well i didn't tear the gasket when i tore it off and i can see why this thing probably leaks look how thin it is so 
We'll put some on this side, flip it over, put some on that side, and we'll lay it back down in there, and we'll put it back on. All right, so there was that. Kind of messy, but you know what? It's not going to leak, and this will give me time to order my new gasket. So let's go ahead and stick this on. All right, so we got all the lights back on, and we got just enough glue on her to make it kind of tacky, and that should work just like that. And for safe measure, safe measures, we're going to ahead and put a little bit of seal on here and here around these screw holes real quick. All right, so that's in, and we got some clear sealant there around that one there. Like I said, it's not the best way to do this but for now it'll keep it from leaking and there we are pretty much done and what i'm going to do is put a little sealant right there and on the other side pouring a bunch of water up here for about 20 minutes and thinking that maybe i've fixed a leak well check this out not actually leaking there no more look right here i pull this down give me a second here to get my flashlight up in here it's actually leaking around this window seal which is right about there you can see that or not there's definitely leaking around this back window glass on both sides so now i want to have to get some sealant and go around the outside of this window so i don't think it was really leaking around that light but it was good to go ahead and do that and we'll put a seal on it later but it looks like the back of this glass here has actually got an issue so you see that right there? That blue pillar? Hope oh, we get there a little bit better. See it? Right on that window. Seal. Because if it was leaking around that light, there's a few places in the back here that has gaps in it, and I, I pulled this headliner down. And you can see up in there, and it's not leaking there. It's actually running right out here. For instance, there's a place it should be leaking if it was leaking around that light because the light is actually right above me there. There's a place there, and there's a place right there. You can see right there it should be leaking out, but no, it's definitely leaking around this window seal back here. So I'm going to have to... Actually, you can see it right there. Check that out right there. <laughs> all right well just when you thought you knew it all you find out something new so i think the best option is just get a tube of sealant clean it up real good out there and just seal that back window in really good but that's definitely worse leaking and actually if you notice right there you can actually still see it leaking see that seal right there part of that is actually not quite up there where it should be it should be around that window look like part of it's it's caved in or moved down so and you can see the leak discontinues there around that seal so oh well all right so you can see how wet it is there so i guess for now what we'll do we'll just kind of push this back and what we're going to have to do we'll get a sunny day or dry day i'll take this to the car wash and take a high pressure hose and go all the way around that seal there and up on the top and all the way around here Take a hose and clean this out as best I can and get a tube of sealant. If I go around this window here and put some black sealant, window sealant in there, I think that'll take care of the issue, but it's definitely leaking around this window here. Not so much that, or even this, so, oh well. All right, everyone, so if you have any leaks, you know, fix your light and you still are frustrated, Check out your seal. Just pull your headliner down here as best you can. Just a couple of screws and some hooks and so forth. And uh, you got a screw in here you have to take out from the inside right here. Once you pull this down, and if you just pull this down just far enough to look up in there, you'll be all right. And you pull the seal off here. It does make it a little bit easier. And also you got this uh, hanger right there. we got one on this side. I've already taken off, which is right about here. And this will pull this down and give you enough to look back in there to see what's going on. All right, everyone, so that's about all we can do today. Hopefully this will help you out, and if you uh, fix that light and you put some glue back there and it still leaks, well, you might want to check your back window. So uh, hopefully this little video will help you out. Sometimes we fix things, and well, sometimes we just gotta keep on buying parts and fix it until it's fixed. 
until my next video, guys. I will see you later.